This week, we're gonna be talking about Google Analytics. What's up, fish fans? My name is Marcus, and you're watching Marketing Madness, the Bluefish vlog. Measuring the behaviors of those visiting your website is the foundation of any good digital marketing strategy. You have to know what is resonating with your audience. So I want to use this episode of the vlog to explain Google Analytics. If you're not familiar with Google Analytics, it is the standard when it comes to tracking website traffic. I think every website should have Google Analytics installed, and there are a few key performance indicators that you should be keeping an eye on. If you have Google Analytics installed, then go ahead and log in so you can follow along. When you first log into the reports, Google Analytics shows you a graph of the visits over the last 30 days. Now, typically, I start by looking for spikes in the traffic, and that would indicate that either something we wrote was extremely popular or that the site got posted somewhere that is sending us a lot of traffic. Now, either way, you want to know who, when, and how the spike was generated. And if you hover over the points on the graph, it will tell you the numerical value of the point. The initial page also shows us how many users, new users, sessions, page views, and the average session of duration. All of these are important to know. Users and new users are just barometers of how much traffic you are getting. Generally speaking, the more the better, but I also want to caution you that a ton of traffic without conversion means you're missing something. I'll gladly take a lower numerical value of visitors for a higher percentage of conversions. Page views and pages per visit tell me that once the person is on the site, they're poking around a bit. And the duration of their visit tells me whether it was just a curious glance at the site or if they were reading something on the site. For example, several years ago, I wrote a blog post that was one of the longest I've ever written, and the duration of that page averages around nine minutes, which is just crazy. Now next, we're gonna look at acquisition, all traffic, and referrals report. And if you follow that sequence, you'll find it. I like this report as it will tell you where your traffic is coming from. Now remember those spikes I mentioned? Those should manifest themselves here as a site that has sent you a large amount of traffic over the last 30 days. And clicking on the link of that site should give you the breakdown of the URLs that are originating the traffic. And the last thing, and quite possibly the most important that I look for, is under behavior, site content, all pages. This report tells you what people are looking at on your site. So more than likely, the forward slash will always be at the top of the list. I like to check these key performance indicators weekly, especially if we're blogging a lot. It tells me what topics are hitting the mark with folks that read our blog. And if a certain topic is getting more interest than others, then I will spend more time writing content on that topic. Well, that's a wrap for this week. I wanna thank you for checking in. Make sure to hit that like button, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you wanna talk about how Bluefish can help you grow your business, just send us a message, and we'll get the conversation started.